Okay, everyone, so in this segment, I'm going to show a different way to do your tool setup. In this case, I have no program yet, and I'm just going to go into the tool table. And what you'll see is this way works the same as what I showed you previously, but it's a little different because I'm gonna start out by creating a tool library and then bringing in a program and assigning the tools, okay? And so what I do here is I'm in the first tool for the library, and I'm gonna just start out by giving it a tool number. Okay, so there's your library tool. If I was using a turret, I would tell it which position of the turret is in here. But in this case, I'm just gonna skip and I'm gonna go to my right turn face tool. So here I'm gonna once again tell it it's carbide, put in my tool size, go to my tool setup, touch off my known diameter of one inch, face the part, tell it that's Z0. And just like before, you'll see that not only is the part set with a library tool, but my first library tool is complete. Okay, I'm gonna go to my second tool. It's tool number 102. Same scenario, I'm gonna use my OD Groove tool, tell it it's carbide, punch in my sizes, 0.093, go to my tool setup, touch my known diameter, touch my Z0, return, and my last tool is going to be 103. Go to my OD thread, tell it it's carbide, go to tool setup, touch my known diameter, touch my Z0. So as you can see now, even though I don't have a program, I've got three tools that are now usable in my library. So what I would do next is I would go and create a program. Now I'm gonna save a little time by just opening a program I've already made, okay, like so. And you'll see in here that it's the same program I used before. All right, with the same three tools. But what happens differently now is when I go to the tool table, you'll see that my library is available, my tool part is set, and it's asking me about the three tools that I've just made in my program. So I can just come in here like I did before, start out by going to a tool and telling it what kind it is. All right, so I'm gonna go to high speed now so you see the difference and I can tell the difference. I'm gonna put in a different size for the radius. And when I go to my tool setup here, I'm gonna to touch that known value of one inch and Z zero. And you'll see that not only is this tool in the program ready to use, but since it's a different tool, I can still add it to the library, okay? The other thing that I could do is I could look in my library and say, gosh, you know what? I've got a tool right in here that's an OD Groove tool. And I can say, I wanna use that as tool number two and simply move it from the library to the program. So I have either way to do it depending on what I already have in my library. My third tool, I'm just gonna go to here, tell it that's tool number three, and now you'll see that my program is ready to run, I've still got my library here, and I can continue to make new tools and keep adding them to my library as I did before. At this point, I'm all set. I think this is probably the best way to do it because each time I make a program, now I don't have to know what tool is what number. I would simply come in here and say, okay, I've got a tool number one, two, three, et cetera and just take them out of my library and add them into the program. Okay, so this completes the second part. In our next scenario, I'm gonna show you another method on how to set up tools, but before I do, once again, I will have to reboot the machine. In my case, I'm going to reboot the offline programming, so I'll see you in just a second. Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat, and today I'm here with the customer service department, reminding you that when you guys call in with some sort of an issue, one of these fine people are the ones that answer the phone and help you and get you back on your way to running and making parts. If you like the videos, don't forget to hit the like button. And of course, if you'd like to subscribe, just hit this button over here. And of course, if you'd like to watch the next video that's coming up, just hit the button over here. As always, we appreciate you watching. And most of all, and most importantly, don't forget to keep, keep on, on tracking. tracking.